Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Jet Engine tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom taxonomy that you can use for your post authors. This can be really helpful if you don't want to rely on the built in WordPress user system. And one of the main reasons you may want to create your own custom taxonomy for your users is for security. So if you have a bunch of authors that are tied to your WordPress website, you're going to run a higher risk for you know, security breaches and all of that. So this approach is going to be a really good alternative to be able to show a post author's image. And right here, I'm going to show you, you can like display their names. So let's jump into the back end and get started. The first thing you need to do is create the taxonomy. So if you just go over into jet engine and click right here, where it says taxonomies. I'm going to show you how I have everything set up and you could just match it to, you know, fit your website. So you're just going to go ahead and click new. And then this is how all of my settings are set up. So I'm just going to call this post author and this right here is going to show up. So if I hover over where it says post, whatever you want this to be called right here, you see where it says post author, that's what this label is right here. Then that's going to give it a slug and then you're going to want to choose it for your post type. So in this situation, I just have a handful of posts. So I just clicked in here and just chose post. But if you have a custom post type, you can always do that inside of here. Then you can go ahead and enable this option right here so you can edit that you know on the back end here okay so let me jump over into advanced and show you um, i pretty much kept everything by default so all of these are on this is the rewrite slug so you want to make sure that that matches up to what's up here and then you can go ahead and make sure you enable this option down here where it's going to treat it more like categories and not like tags Okay, and then this is where the main thing is going to be is underneath meta fields, what you can do is go ahead and just click add new. So with this meta field, it's going to give the option to be able to add a user photo like this. So just go ahead and choose something like author photo. That's going to give you the slug right here. And then for the field, you could just, you know, just choose field right here for object type. And then I'm choosing media. So this is going to upload to your media library. And then I made sure that it was just set to media URL. And then I just kept everything else by default. Then all you need to do is just click update taxonomy. And now I'm going to show you how you assign it to your post. So now what you need to do is go underneath post and then you should see this new one right here called post author. So of course, when you come in your, to your website, you're not going to have anything here on the right. I already have a few examples right here. So on the left side, this is where you're going to go ahead and add in your post author name. And when you do that, let me just do, uh, just type in wiki design just so you can follow along. Then what you can do is right down here where it says author photo, that's the one that we just created inside jet engine. So let me go ahead and just choose a picture. Um, I'll just do a picture of me right here. And then you just click add new category. And when you do that, you're going to see right here. Now we have wiki design and it automatically created the slug right here, just called wiki dash design. And when you go and you click on one of these, if you ever need to change out the photos, you can just do that right here. So as you can see, if I go to Bob Vila, there's Bob Vila right there. Now what you need to do is go to your post and assign the post author to, you know, each one of these posts. So there's two different ways you can do it. You can go ahead and just click on when you hover over a post, you could just click this button here that says quick edit. And then you're going to see this option right here for post author. So you could just go ahead and choose the author and just click update. Or if you're already inside the post, so let me just go to like this post. If you look here on the right side, you have this new meta box right over here and you can just choose your author right here and click update. Once you've assigned your post authors, if you go back into it on the right side right here, where it says count, you can see how many uh, posts that that post author is assigned to. So now that you've assigned all of your authors to your posts, now what we can do is I can show you how this can be set up using the Elementor loop grid. So let me jump into this page and show you how I have everything set up. So as you can see right here, I'm just using the default loop grid inside of Elementor. And let me go ahead and show you how I have this template set up and how you can assign that custom taxonomy to your template right here. So in this example, I'm going to show you how I was able to dynamically pull in the post author for the image right here and then the title right here. So inside your template, what you could do is just pull in a regular image widget. And then right here is where all the magic's gonna happen. You need to click on dynamic tags, scroll down to jet engine, and where it says term image. Just go ahead and click that. And of course, nothing's gonna show up because we need to do one other step, and that is assign the taxonomy. So just go down to the one you have right here called post author. And then the meta field, 
I just called it author dash photo. So if you need help on where to figure out where that is, you could just go to your taxonomy again, go into here and then the meta field right here, this is your ID. So it's just called author dash photo, or they give you the option. You could just go here to your post author and you see right here where it uh, says author photo, you could just go ahead and click that button. So they kind of give you two options to get that meta field. So once you paste it in there, you should automatically see that the grid should populate with your post author photo. So I'm going to show you how I was able to pull in the post author name right here. And in this situation, I'm just using an icon list because what I wanted to do is have the name and then you can have the date right next to it and you can put it like inline. So it's a lot easier to manage this way. So if you go into your first one right here, just like the other one, what you need to do is make it dynamic. So for your text, just click dynamic tags, go down to jet engine again, click term field, go ahead and choose post author. And now what you could do is just do term name. So that's just going to pull in the, the name of the author. And then right here, if you want to have the post date, all you need to do is just click on the dynamic tags and just click post date. That's all. That's very simple. That's all built into Elementor, which is really nice. And then if you wanted to add like a little dash in between, what you could do is go underneath the advanced here and the before you could just add like a space and like a pipe, you know, whatever icon or whatever you want right here. That way it'll give a little divider. So once you go ahead and save that, you, when you go back to your loop grid, you should see that your post authors should populate for each one of the posts down here. And that's it for this jet engine tutorial. Thank you for watching.